Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel here. Today, on top of our alarm clock mountain, we have this one, this one, but this is the newest one. Today, we're going to take it apart, clean it, put it back together, and find out if it works. It's a Sony Dream Machine, same as this one, but this one does not play DVDs. This one's kind of the bigger one. This is a smaller one, same brand, same, same, you know, same people. Um, last video you've seen, we unboxed this one, unraveled it, plugged it in, tested it, listened to the alarm. We'll kind of do the same thing here, but when I bought this one today, I picked it up for two dollars, and I, when I picked it up, I noticed it had a little bit of a a clunky feel to it, like something was rattling around inside. So I took the whims and paid two dollars for it. Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, hey, I got it for cheap. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So now that we get this thing closer here, you can get a really good look at it. It's a Sony Dream Machine AM/FM. There's the number right here for what model it is. ICF C122. So you can see this thing is incredibly dirty. The camera doesn't really do it any justice. You see, it's got some dirt down in here. And... But the, when I say clunkiness, listen. And it's not this piece here moving. I have no idea what it is. So, anywho, it's still got the little antenna with it, but she needs a good cleaning. Let's get it apart. Sorry for the crudeness of our workbench here. This is my bed, as you can see, with my very colorful sheets. My uh, workbench is still in travel here. Uh, I've just uh, moved to this new place, got the power turned on. Uh, got 99% of my stuff back together, but you know, there's still that 1%. Then to add on top of that, I had my wisdom teeth removed uh, about nine days ago now. Still dealing with a little bit of soreness, but nothing terrible, you know. Good stuff though, good stuff. I can't wait to see what this surprises us with. I'm sure it won't be uh, anything pretty. Usually you don't get a good clunky noise if something's been broken loose. Come on. Well, I'll be dipped. Come on, come out of there. I guess we're not gonna come out. The case is coming apart here. Let's see if we can get it apart without damaging it. I'll be right back with y'all. All right, so I did find it. Get, did get it apart. Look how long these screws are. Good to note. Anywho, this is what's been causing our problem. Let's see, it's missing the glue. There's a little bit of glue right there. And that goes right in there like that. See, the old glue came apart. We'll get some new glue on that, and we'll get it put back together. Well, while I couldn't find any glue, I f did find a little bit of painter's tape, and I just did a little around that edge and shoved it in there, you know, just shoved it in there. That'll work. Let's see what happens. Also to note, this is the inside of the case, so this is not outside, and there's quite a bit of smoke damage in here, so that's good. All right, now you gotta take a look at this. 
This is nasty, very dirty. So let's get it clean. Oh yeah, she's coming clean. Yep, Matt, that's looking good. How much better that looks. Must have been owned by a mechanic. Reach over, slap the alarm clock. This thing is just nah, filthy, man. This is pretty bad. I'll keep scrubbing on it and I'll come back to y'all. Well, if it'd let me pause. <laughs> All right. So, we got the outside case clean, partially. I haven't cleaned the screen yet. I'm saving this to show y'all. Look how greasy this is. I mean, just nasty. <laughs> Anywho. Got this cleaned up. That's looking snazzy. Remember how nasty this was? I can actually handle this now. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Maybe a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Come on, focus. Focus. Uh, okay. Anywho, I'm going to try to get this bottom cleaned eventually, but next is going to be this right here. Nasty. All right. Got the screen cleaned up, and look at it. She's not nasty no more. It's got a little bit of specks and spots. I couldn't get those out. Look at this machine. It, it's clean. Let's take it over to the alarm clock mountain. Plug it in and see what happens. All right, we're back over here to the alarm clock mountain. Don't forget that one. It works. Let's uh, let's set the time and see what happens. So you have to hold alarm set or see here clock, then you have to sit, hold time set to go. So then we go minute three oh one. It's about to be 302, so we'll wait. 56, 57, 58, 59. Bam. Okay. So we are perfectly in sync because, well, you can tell just by the way it looks. Let's uh, set an alarm. So the alarm is set for 12 a.m. Something like that. So I guess we have to hold alarm, time set, go all the way back around, messed up there, three, so we'll set the alarm on. So. Sorry about that. So we should be coming up on 303 here. There it is, just our clockwork. Not loud and overly obnoxious. I like that. So we'll set. That's the radio function. Except good station. 
So we'll shut that off all the way off. And that, folks, was the Sony Dream Machine that I paid $2 for. Used a little bit of painter's tape to fix the, uh, I assume that's what the antenna was. It had three little wires and stuck it back in its post. Can't beat it. Cleaned up really nice. Tells time. I like it. So, thank you folks for tuning in. We'll have to set our time back over here. Before we go. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do differently down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, put them down there as well. Thanks for watching.